the north, there's a canyon surrounding the main trail. And the unimaginative locals call it the Devil's Pass. And reports mention possibly unknown vampiric specimens. And we chalked it down to hearsay, but now we sent our top sanguisuge expert to investigate. I hope by expert you mean a field agent and not another bookworm. Scott Bloom co-wrote the Institute's Sanguisuge Bestery. We need soldiers, not pencil pushers. I can't run around looking for a missing egghead hoping that maybe he brings something to the table. When did he last report? Five days ago. Now let's just hope he's lost in research. This species appears to possess shape-shifting abilities, most uncommon for the typical sanguisuge. I dare say, this ability might be blood-dependent, but it's hard to tell based on the limited amount of evidence found. I'm wondering if we're witnessing some sort of accelerated evolution, spurred perhaps by certain unknown environmental factors. Oh, let's check this beauty out.
dead end. Fucking great. Gotta find another way. Hope I'll find some trace of Bloom. Get the rocks ready! Get in place, assholes! Wait for my signal! Ready! Come on! Finders keepers. Gotta squeeze through. This is gonna take a look some kind of vault. What are they hiding here? Okay.
Christ, that was tough. Starting to lose hope I'll find room in one piece. Research continues, but nothing I've seen explains the unusual capabilities of this curious animal. Judging by the diameter of the tunnels it creates, I estimate it stands at least eight feet tall and is quite powerful. Might be that thing Bloom was looking for. Find a way to hold those doors. find the flying creatures most disturbing. They appear in large numbers, protecting the newly transformed Sangrasujas like hornets guarding their hive. It's not clear if that's their only purpose. Perhaps they also gather sustenance and function as scouts. Where the heck did it go? Yeah, 
Yeah, looks like I'm getting closer to its nest. Ugh, what a stench. anything I've killed before. Is that you down there? Uh, yes, it's it's me, but who are... Ugh. Whoa, you're Jesse Rinier, sir. Splendiferous. Care to explain what happened here, Bloom? Oh, no. uh, well, I was sitting here to investigate reports of a novel breed of sanguisuge. When I arrived, I encountered a group of familiars. Apparently sit here by their masters. That was a familiar? How come a human turned into that thing so quickly? Well, excellent question, sir. My thesis is that their transformation is linked to the blood from these creatures somehow. The how is what I'm stuck on. Uh, we better take one of those things back with us to the lab. Still beats me what those familiars were doing here. Well, from what I could gather, they were sent on a transport detail. Securing a convoy of carts filled with some curious, wriggly little creatures they brought from McCallum Sawmill. Uh, we need to check that place out. Mr. Rentier, can I have a word with you, sir? If they want to get rid of Amelia, I say we go on strike. Dr. Blackwell has always had our backs, and we need to stand up for her. With so many agents lost, they can't afford to lose us too. I'm sure the others will back me up on this. Amelia is our leader, 
And that's just that. Sir? Senior Agent Hall ordered me to guard Director Rentier's room. He's safe here, sir. Rest assured, no tick can reach him in Calico. I hate to see him like this. So... vulnerable. March, 1866. The war between the states might be over, but the larger war, the secret war, continues. Many men still suffering from the toll the war took on their spirits, souls, and bodies find themselves vulnerable to the Sanguizuja's vicious predations. Because of that, we must ramp up our efforts. Our scientific research team has been working on a device that might finally give us an edge in this fight. As part of this effort, I am officially promoting Agent Edgar Gravener to take my place in the field. I, of course, will continue on from the Home Office. Thank you all for your service, and may the good Lord watch over and protect us. Director William Rentier. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Bar run out of whiskey? Jess, when we dragged your dad in here, there was an awful lot of blood on him. He'll be fine. Bastard's too damn stubborn to die. I've seen my share of battle wounds. The wounds William got, no way even half of that came out of him alone. Somewhere between the falling airships and hopping boo hags, I don't know. Could be that collateral damage wasn't the tick's only objective. Could be they... They infected him? No. No fucking way. Jess, hold your horses and just think about it. The Institute is infiltrated, and they'll let both you and William walk away? Jess, when a tick turns a familiar, they form a sort of bond. The sire can see into the servant's mind. Now, they make that link with, say, the man who developed that weapon you're carrying. Edgar, our orders are clear when folks get infected. Infected means dead. Those are his own words. Breathe. I've got an idea. Remember that crap I brought from Lake Mora Pass? That plan that was supposed to be a base for a cure one day? I'm not gonna gamble my father's life on some swamp nerd's magic potion. It's not like we got a handful of aces here, Jess. Dabano and his lunatic spawn had taken the fight to us. And I sure as hell don't want to go to war without our general. Do you? All right. The plant might be back in the manor's ruins. I'll go check if there's anything left of the lab, and you... I go. You need to take care of the gauntlet. I don't give a flying fuck about the gauntlet. I'm not sitting on my ass while my father grows a new set of teeth. I know one asks you to, but if I fail, you and that gauntlet will be the only thing between us and a war we can't win. I got this, okay? Just keep an eye on that nosy lady doctor. And stay close to William. Just in case, I don't make it back in time. Amelia's glad you brought Bloom back in one piece. They're waiting for you in her lab. Good to see you back, sir. Be careful there, Mr. Rentier, sir. The verge is working. A silence before a storm, for sure. You think we should be ready for some fireworks? <sighs> Where is it? Where the hell did I put it? Get out! Get out! Oh. 
Do you have a moment, sir? It's a tragedy the Debano's head was taken. We lost so much knowledge. God, imagine what we could have learned. Six centuries of knowledge would have been an amazing contribution to the Institute's database. A new breed of monsters? Shit. The old ones were scary enough. <sighs> well... Let's hope that uh, gauntlet of yours can help turn the tide, if we can get it running. More of a demotion than a promotion. <laughs> you must have been a real pain in the ass. Taking it. Oh, with the rentiers and that Harrow guy here, is Dr. Blackwell still calling the shots? I'm sure the government visited the manor often, but Mr. Harrow's not an agent, and I don't think he knows what he's doing. Harrow's operating out of fear. The manor security services were decimated, and Calico doesn't even have that level of defense. Not that it did the manor any damn good. That's what worries me. It's not something you can orchestrate overnight. We've been fighting each other for centuries. Like every other creature, they change over time to get an upper hand against us. Until recently, the Sanguisus reproduced by turning their familiars. A slow, but effective process. But now there's this new breed. <sighs> Popping up like rabbits. They're fierce and resourceful, but still not anything we can class as an evolutionary step up the ladder. Well, if anything, they're a step backwards, mindless and bloodthirsty. They're cannon fodder. This is Debano's idea of an army. Humans turn to minions or whatever foul blood beasts they'll end up being. Foul blood? Precisely, sir. Splendiferously observed. Well, I guess to know for sure we have to investigate McCallum's sawmill? McCallum's won't be an easy nut to crack. Without a working gauntlet, we can't penetrate its glamours. Guess it's high time to check up on our resident genius. God, why do I have to be such a pig? Paper, paper everywhere. I can't find shit in here. Oh, hi! Holy moly, where are my notes? <clears throat> As we all know, Faraday's mutual induction phenomenon. Virgil, take it easy with the jargon, please. You're talking to a field agent. <sighs> Diamagnetism, polyphase system. Uh, you sure you don't want to hear my radiography joke about... Uh, never mind. Here it is. Long story short, I reverse engineered the disruptor mechanism and identified the problem. Its energy consumption is off the charts. Best engineer in the Institute, huh? Well, before you jump down his throat, perhaps we can give Virgil a chance to explain himself. Miniaturization has its limits. If you want a working disruptor like this, you have to accept the fact that it won't be, well, portable. Like Amelia so kindly pointed out, I'm a field agent, as in I go out in the field. If the gauntlet's not portable, it's useless. I don't mean to put your ass over the fire, but... Apparently you do. But... If we don't get it running, we're all done for. Can you make it work? Well, maybe if I could somehow get my hands on some spare coils from the original disruptor... Done. Where can I find them? 